crew. It's another day on my walking journey. Yes, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. Trying to get it in, y'all. Trying to get back on track. So I'm just walking and walking and walking. Again, I'm at work. You can tell by the scenery, the pond. So I'm walking on my break. I try to walk on every break when I'm at work in the office. And then, of course, you see, um, you're going to see that um, my husband and I walk together also. I'm making a lot of snippets of my walking on different days so I can go ahead on and get my video together. I wasn't, I'm still not sure exactly how I want to put this one together, but I know you're going to see me walking <laughs> and let you guys know that I'm, I'm Got my mind back together and I'm back on track. So I try to do at least two miles a day when I'm working in the office. So that's, I work in the office three days a week. So that's at least six miles from between those three days. And I walk at home too, but I'm not really sure the mileage of what I do when I walk at home with my husband. So, just jumping in to let y'all guys know that I'm walking. What are you guys doing for exercise? Are y'all walking? I'm going to start back to doing the work away the pounds videotape again. I'm going to do that at night. But during the day, I'm just walking, trying to get healthy, trying to get back on track because I let myself get off track, but I'm back and I'm getting back on track. So, y'all enjoy my little walking. <laughs> and why don't you guys um, get up and plan to go walking with me because I could do a live walking video at a certain time. I can let y'all know what time I'm gonna be walking. And um, you guys can jump online with your phones. I'll be doing it live. And while I'm walking, you guys can walk too. And we can have a conversation while we walk. How that sound? I just thought about that. We can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this video finished and get it up. And let you guys know that um, what day I'm going to walk and what time I'm going to walk. It's going to be in the evening. And what time I'm going to walk. And you guys can um, jump on the live and walk too. That'll work. We might do that as a daily thing if you guys want to. Drop a comment and let me know if this is something y'all want to do on a daily thing where we walk and be live together. All right? All right, talk to y'all a little bit. Hey, y'all. I'm sitting here at the pond. I just finished my walk. And I just want to take a minute to talk to you guys about patience. Yes. Patience is a virtue patience because we can easily get discouraged on this new lifestyle journey you know wanting the weight to come off and we want it for to come off really fast but in all reality if you really honestly think about it you didn't gain all the weight really fast it all came on over time so it's going to take time for it to come back off so we just need to have patience working on our patience so this week, I'm going to be working on my patience. Because you kind of get frustrated when you step on the scale and then you don't really see much of a change. Or depending on when you step on this um, scale, sometimes you might even see look like it went up some ounces or something. But you know they say the best time for the weight is the same time every day on the same day. If you want to really calculate your results the best. Because like one day you might get on the scale and you weigh um, whatever pounds. And then you get back up there the next day. And you might went up a couple of ounces. But then you get on it the next day and you might have went down back to where you were. Um, so it's a fluctuation. So they say to be more consistent, to get a better look at your weight, is to um, get on the scale the same day, same time. You know, every week, like if you do it on Monday mornings at 8, continue to weigh in, then on Monday morning at 8, you know, weekly. 
But then, it, but then again, on the other hand, they say it's best to wait every day to help keep yourself on track. But I noticed that with that everyday thing, I fluctuate so bad that it just gets on my nerves. It's a bike going by. It just gets on my nerves when I do it every day. And if I see a couple of ounces, I'll be like, wait a minute, I didn't do anything different. Why I got a couple of more ounces up? And then a couple of days later, they go in and say, ounces back down. And like, then it says I'm still the same weight. And I'm like, okay, so I done been doing it for these many days and ain't nothing changed. So um, I, I tend to stick with once a week, same day a week, same time. So right now I've been weighing in on Saturday, Saturday mornings. So I'm going to continue to keep with my Saturday mornings so I can um, make sure that I'm consistently, you know, looking at the same time a day, the same day of the week to, you know, try to, um, you know, make sure that I'm getting the same steady results, that I'm not flip-flopping. But patience, it takes patience and dedication, but a lot of patience <laughs> because you can't easily get frustrated and then you want to quit, but we're not about that. We're going to take things nice and slow, and we're going to build our patience with it. You know, just keep giving yourself good thoughts about this time next month. What, you know, what am I going to be wearing this time next month? Give yourself a goal to look forward to, to see what you're going to be. Because last month, at the beginning of last month, I was seven pounds heavier than I was at the beginning of the, this month of September. So, you know, I, so I'm looking forward to see what I'm gonna be at the beginning of October. You know, yep, at the beginning of October, I'm excited to see, am I gonna be able to say, y'all, I lost my several more pounds and now I'm back at where I were in March from the start of this weight loss, this new lifestyle weight, weight loss journey. You know, am I going to be, you know, at my 14 pounds off that I was? Or would I surprise myself and be maybe eight more pounds off? Or would I even be maybe six pounds off and not my seven pounds off? I don't know what it's going to be. But either way, I know that um, I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm going to keep focus on doing what I'm doing, you know, to see what, October 1st is going to bring for me. I'm really excited, you know. I w it would be awesome if I did take the 7 off. It will be even greater if I took more than the 7 off. But if I took less than the 7 off, I'm still going to be grateful for taking anything off. And I'm just thinking, I'm like, I got to take something off. Not unless I hit one of those, um, what, what are the clock we talked about it? those um mm, somebody put in the comments what it's called plateaus plateaus plateau plateaus whatever it is when you no matter what you're doing your body decides to say hey i'm gonna stop right here for a little while you need to change it up eat less um exercise more do something different try a different exercise or something you know to get you through this little period where nothing is happening but either way is I'm just excited to see what it's gonna be or you know what it's not gonna be or what I need to do to continue on. I'm just looking forward to October 1st. But see that's my goal. I have a goal to see what it's gonna be on October the 1st so that um it kind of helps me with my patience, you know, because I got a while to wait. So it's kind of help help to build my patience. Because if I did little little goals like, you know, like I did before, waiting to see what it's going to be on Saturday of each week, then that would be better on my patience because it's a shorter time. But I want to learn to build my patience. So I took it out further to a longer time to help me build my patience. So I'm going to work on patience this week. This week is going to be me working on my patience. And last week I was working on eating less bread, trying to get down those carbs. So last week was eating less bread. And this coming week is going to be 
um, well, this week is going to be focusing on building up my patience with this. Because we're in the microwave generation. We want everything fast, fast, fast in a hurry. But patience is a virtue. So we need to work on building up our patience. So how many of you guys are going to jump on board with me and work on building up your patience? Because it takes patience even when I decide to get up and go walking. And I look at how many times I got to walk around this pond to reach the goal that I want to reach. It takes patience for me to go through one cycle of walking, the next cycle of walking, the next cycle of walking, until I reach my goal of how many times I want to go around for this time that I'm actually walking. Right now I'm out on my 15 minute break. So I did my walk, my times around walking. I walked really for my whole 15 minute break. So really like I'm really over my 15 minute break y'all because I'm still out here talking. But I did walk for my whole 15 minute break and then I decided to sit down and talk to you guys about patience. Because I was thinking like, oh wow, um, if I would have stayed on track when I started in January through March and not got off track, then right now these pounds is coming off, plus the pounds that would have came off for April, May, June, and July. And even, even, well I did lose it in August though, June and July, how much further on the journey I would have been, you know? So I'm just focusing on patience to get back to where I was and patience to continue on on my journey. <laughs> so patience is this week's project for me. So what are you guys gonna focus on? I know um, Patricia left me a comment and she said that she was gonna focus on her eating so Patricia's focusing on her eating, and um, I'm gonna. I was focusing on my bread at the time that she was focusing on eating. She, she said eating her food. She could focus on foods. I was focusing on bread, and now this week I'm gonna focus on patience. I'm gonna continue with the bread, and I'm not gonna like each week when I'm doing something. I'm not gonna stop what I'm doing that week and start something new. I'm gonna add on to that week. So I'm still focusing on my bread and I'm adding focusing on my patience. So Patricia is focusing on her foods. So Patricia, drop a comment and let me know what's going to be the next thing that you're going to start focusing on besides your foods, your foods. And now what are you going to do for your, your new week? So I'm doing breads and for my new week, I'm doing patience. So guys, drop a comment. Don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, share this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Join the We Team Williams family, the We Team Williams crew. Please join. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. Please comment. And um, but most of all, guys, just think about yourself and trying to do something for the, to make yourself feel good. Not about anybody else. Not about looking good to anybody else it's about looking good to yourself making yourself feel good feeling confident about yourself so that's it for this video as always give thanks be blessed i love you to life and see you on our next video